Hello out there, all you story timers! Today we'll be reading Baby Grace's First Steps by Julie Fox. A story about a baby elephant who learns to walk and explore the world around her, with help from her family encouraging her along the way. And without further ado, sit back and relax. Rest your head, your nose, and your toes. Open your eyes and open your ears. Put on a smile and enjoy the show. One, two, three, ouch! Mummy, could I hold on to your tail? I fell over again. Of course, honey, but do take that trunk of yours out of your mouth. You are a big girl already. You shouldn't suck on it. Use it to support yourself when you are about to tumble. One, two, three, four, ouch! Daddy, could I hold on to your tail? I am thirsty, Daddy. Grace, my princess, raise that trunk of yours high and sniff the air around you. To the left is our family, to the right is the lake. But be very careful when you drink water from that lake. There are lots of crocodiles there and they could grab your trunk and pull you in the water and hurt you. One, two, three, four... Five, ouch! Uncle Jack, could I hold on to your tail? Could you help me learn how to drink water from the lake? Of course, Grace. Let's walk all the way to the lake and I will teach you. You dip your trunk in the water, not too deep, mind the crocodiles. Draw lots of water in it and then squirt it in your mouth. And the thirst is gone. One, two, three, four, five, six, ouch! Grandpa, could I hold on to your tail? I am tired, Grandpa. Gracie, my dear, let me nudge you and lift you with my trunk. It's thick and strong, and I could carry you anywhere we go, if you are too tired to walk on your own. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ouch! Auntie Helen, could I hold on to your tail? I am so sad that I keep falling and falling and falling and it takes me forever to learn how to walk. Of course, my sweet princess. Let me caress you with my trunk. That's how we elephants make each other feel better. And you will learn how to walk in no time at all. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. Ouch! Grandma, could I hold on to your tail? I'm afraid to get lost. Sure, Gracie dear, of course you could hold on to me for as long as you need to. Hold on to my tail and follow me everywhere you go. That's how we elephants make sure we stay together on long journeys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ouch! Hello, Cousin Nelly. My name is Grace. 
Could I hold on to your tail? Hello, Gracie. Aren't you the new baby elephant who was born just yesterday? Aren't you a big girl already? Let us say hello to each other. Let us hook our trunks. You see, now we just said, Hello, I am your friend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did it. I can walk now. Well, it looks like Gracie is well on her way to exploring more of the world around her, and probably some big adventures too. Until next time, my young story timers, this is Mr. Whiskers saying meow and good night. Hello everyone, Mr. Whiskers here. Enjoying our story times? Be sure to subscribe to our channel and never miss a story. And tell your friends so they can join in the fun. Goodbye for meow.